In a health alert, if you're 45 or older, the CDC says it's time to get screened for colon cancer. In men and women, data shows colorectal cancer is the fourth most common cancer case and the fourth most common cancer dealt. So for colon cancer awareness, TV6's Iron Mountain Kings reviewer reporter Blake Ryerson met with medical experts to share options and guidance for screening and treatment. This linear accelerator at Marshfield Medical Center Dickinson precisely targets cancer cells and blasts them with radiation. It's the kind of technology allowing the center to treat many types of cancer, including colon cancer. But for screenings, Marshfield Medical Center Dickinson Manager of Imaging Services Bryn Santoni says a standard colonoscopy is the gold standard for identifying colon cancer. Because it's a direct visualization of the colon done in real time, it allows the physician to take biopsies of any polyps or lesions they might see. Santoni says there are many options for people who are unable to get a traditional colonoscopy. There are some people who just cannot tolerate a regular colonoscopy and then they would come to CT for their virtual colonoscopy. And a lot of times for that we'll try to do it the same day as the failed colonoscopy so they don't have to do the bowel prep again. Medical staff at Marshfield recommend getting a colon cancer screening at age 45 for men and women. Colon cancer doesn't always show symptoms, so they strongly encourage screenings, especially if there is a family history of cancer. Santoni says Marshfield Dickinson is a one-stop shop for colon cancer care. And in the unfortunate circumstance you may be diagnosed with colon cancer, we have all of the treatment options available to you here. Surgical intervention, staging with our CT and our MRI machine, we offer chemo infusion. Doctors here at Marshfield do say that there are some things you can do in your daily life to help prevent colon cancer. Eat healthy, watch your weight, and limit your alcohol consumption are all things you can do to help reduce your risk. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain.